morning, guys. Rick Shaw here, reporting live from the frozen tundra. It's cold, guys. <laughs> we got that big uh, storm around us. We're probably not getting the rain they are up the north, but we're, it's temperature really cooled off. Uh, so it is, by the way, the 23rd of, of August, 2022. And I want to show you. I got my I got my big mirror in the front end. I can, hope you can see how good this works. I mean, I had a blind spot over here, so that's fixed. And then I got this one, mounted that one sideways. The trach is doing good. We took uh, Grandma to the depot the other day. I put the 13 tooth gear in uh, on the front sprocket. And uh, I used a little bit of Loctite on that because the, the clip that holds it screws into the, the gear itself so I, I always like to put a little Loctite on those job went real smooth everything's going good uh, and we drove it up all the way to the depot and around town no problems at all uh, nothing in the traffic like when the traffic is creeping along you can just let the clutch out in first gear and just do a half of a walking speed so that was really fantastic I went ahead and got a couple reflectors on Wes gave me Wes gave me some reflectors, so I put those on. That's just a bicycle one, but I got these ones. I'm gonna get some red ones for down below, and I put an orange one over there. So we got that. But uh, she's tracking really good. Uh, everything's nice. I've been watching the chain, make sure it doesn't get loose. It's fine. Uh, so far, so far, it's uh, it's fantastic. Uh, if anybody has any questions on ideas for a trike let me know and then talk to your builder too or, or anyone else uh, I've actually gone when we've gone places like in Manila or somewhere and I've stopped and talked to Tracy guys hey where'd you get that oh that's cool you know and, and just talk to them a lot of these guys they're really into their their trikes it's it's the huge mode of transportation here in the Philippines and uh, I don't think that's ever going to change I, I see they got they got some guy up there now I forget his name he's pushing hey He's pushing for um, gondolas or something like ski lifts going around Manila. <laughs> okay, he's going to take three or four people off the street. Like, that's going to do a bit of good. Uh, I, I don't know. Sometimes sometimes uh, these people get these ideas in their head and they just want to spend money. Uh, it's not theirs. That's why. You know, let's push this thing. Let's pu let's push this thing. I know in my country, if if they were going to do something like that, the politician gets it in his mind to do this. You know, this thing that's not going to help at all, and then he's going to get all his buddies and family to be the ones who bid on the contracts. You know, <laughs> and they're going to be the ones who get it. This is how, it's just how it works, guys. Don't know about here, but you know, I just I have to say it that way. But. Uh, we're really, we're really liking the buggy. Uh, we, we, the boys started school, and, and my daughter, they all started school, but they, they're split up. The boys go in the morning. It's only half day here. Half day, three days a week. So they go in the morning, and then we go pick them up. And uh, then we take my daughter up and then pick her up in the afternoon. And uh, it's nice to have the trike instead of starting the car for these little, you know, couple kilometer trips. But uh, the, the schools here, uh, it's they're absolutely ridiculous you know they're they're so horrible on letting anyone out when it's time to leave they say okay be here be here at 315 they released her at 4 you know and they constantly do this they'll tell me come come here they'll tell me pick her up at 12 and they don't let her out till 1235 I mean if, if you know how are they going to teach these kids time if they can't keep track of it themselves you know, I, I'm uh, not liking the, the school here at all. Uh, we're talking about looking at a, a private one. Just get her the heck out of here. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get into private because we had been talking for a while about getting the heck out of here. And uh, this is just another nail in the coffin for this town here. Uh, I, would, I think the, the public school, another thing that's happening here, my daughter's been going to school for quite a bit. And uh, her English is very good. I teach her new words all the time, almost daily. You know, we pick up a word or I'll say something. Oh, what's that mean? And we'll, you know, we'll sit and talk about it. And she gets it. 
she goes to school and she comes she's coming home with all these horrible habits in English I mean they're teaching her wrong crap because that's the way they talk and it's not their fault it's English isn't their first language but uh, I man I want her out of there before they ruin her and this and the stuff they teach if you look at if you look at what they're teaching I mean holy crap you know they, they want to dumb these they want to dumb these kids down uh, worldwide so that they're just smart enough to be worker bees that's it but uh, I don't get why they don't teach them time properly I mean if they want them to show up on work on time it's it's a known thing here Filipino time you know how how Filipinos they, they come moseying in I watch it here with the workers they trail in at all different times hey good morning good morning it's cold huh <laughs> yeah but uh, they, they come you know straggling in here and, and that's why when I was in the States uh, when I was running different jobs and stuff and sometimes we would need a huge you know a huge amount of people and you know so you got these stacks of applications and we would uh, my boss and I would sit there this is before you meet the guys and there'd be stacks and we would have a stack on the left means we're definitely going to interview the stack in the middle meant okay we might we, we might interview them if the, some of these don't pan out we'll have them for the second day and the stack on the right was an absolute no and the sad thing was my boss every time he's seen uh, a, a Filipino and it's got your you know your all the applications got your ID cards you can see a picture plus the name every time he's seen a Filipino uh, he he threw it over in the the no-go stack immediately immediately and I'm like man what are you doing that for and he's like, hey, they, they don't show up, they're late. They don't show up, they got excuses. You know, my grandmother's sister's uh, uncle's twice removed cat died. So I had to go comfort them. You know, that, that kind of crap. And so he, he was just like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not dealing with it. I need guys that show up every day. And uh, the school's here by doing, <laughs> you know, when it's time to get out of school, it's, I went and picked up my daughter for a couple weeks. And I even went in and asked, like, hey, what time am I supposed to be here? I was, you know, I stood out here for half an hour waiting. Oh, sir, well, well you know, we ha uh, it's timing, you're getting into little classes. But, and they just mealy mouth the living heck out of you. They can't come up with a solid answer or anything. And that makes me wonder, how can these people teach children when they, <laughs> when they can't do a simple job? You know... <laughs> It's it's just here, you know. It wasn't like this before. We had uh, we had my daughter in a private school up in GMA, and then uh, of course the COVID started. You know, not really. That just screwed the living heck out of everything, guys. My my son's starting. Well, he's he's actually now in the first grade. The boys are just ecstatic at school. You really like going to school? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You're my wake him up girl. But the boys are just fired up. They pop up in the morning. They eat their breakfast, brush their teeth. They get their bath. I mean, they're all they're all hyped to go. Maddie got a star yesterday, so he was all. He's like, oh, if I get uh, if I get ten stars by December, they're gonna give me a, a gift. And I'm like, well, you better get twenty then. Yeah. He says, do you think I'll get two gifts? I said, ask him. <laughs> so, so he's stoked. You know, but if if you look at uh, they're they're learning now just to socialize, right now they're not really getting into a whole lot of book learning. But the the crap they make them carry, it's like I think they want them to have bad backs uh, before <laughs> we got them actually like an airline uh, luggage wheelie things. Uh, and what's nice about them, um, the wheels will hook. Something on your tricycle, guys. Make sure you get this right here because it's, this thing right now. It's hard. Before I ever get the thing open, uh, the kids already had climbed in. My wife sits on the back, and you can hook that on here and just wrap the strap on here, and it's not going nowhere. It's going to stay. It's going to stay right there, and then you've got to lift them over the rail. That's a nice thing, but uh, I don't know. We're happy. This thing I did. <laughs> the guy forgot to weld me the 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 piece in here for my mirror so I just found a gun cleaning rod and some wire ties just to get me up and going next time I'm down in Maduro I'll have them weld that piece on but this was definitely a blind spot guys again you know whenever I have something I think is important I, I 
drill it in. Don't cheap out on your mirrors on these things. Uh, just don't. Absolutely not. Because uh, it'll get you in trouble quick, fast, and in a hurry. That's all there is to it. Now also, check in your areas. Because some of these, tr there's some areas. Let me turn this around. It's twisted up. Some of these areas, they don't like the real shiny stuff on here. Okay, here it's not a problem. Uh, but you can, if, you, if you're going to get the stainless, you can put some, something over it to dull it a little bit. Uh, but they don't like that. And there are some tricycles here, guys, that, uh, you know, when we're traveling up into town and the sun's beating on these tricycles, it's just like, man, it blinds the living heck out of you. So you have to uh, check your area because there's certain things that, you know, they just don't want you to do. We still have to take it to the LTO to change the registration. I'll let you know how that goes, and uh, we'll, we'll see. But uh, I'm, I'm watching everything on it real close. It's not making any stupid noises. Uh, nothing's going wrong. The, the valves aren't clattering at all with the, with the new gearing. Uh, and it's, it's a nice machine, guys. It's, uh, it's a nice machine. This one's a little bit light for this heavy of a tricycle. Uh, I'd like to get, you know, I want to get another bike here down the road anyway. You know, a single. So when we get down to Maduro, if I need to just pop somewhere, my wife and I need to just boogie somewhere, we can jump on the bike instead of taking the trike. Because this is, it's a slow poke. You know, it's like, it's like an old 1959 uh, Dodge dump truck, you know. <laughs> Top speed of 50 miles an hour and you're in first gear on any kind of hill. <laughs> and that's without a load. So <laughs> it's just a slow poke, but it, it's, it's what we need right now. For us buzzing around into Lippa and town, it's perfect. It's, we can get in there. Uh, the other thing I liked uh, on this one, I've seen some of the other ones, they have no space under the seat. So if we need to slide something under the seat, we can. Uh, our little dog goes with us wherever we go. We're gonna get uh, clear plastic over the seats here. I don't know how good it's gonna fit in there. We'll have to see what we can do. I wanna get something to cover that so we don't gotta keep taking them out. And also we stopped at a, we were, we were in traffic. I like to go on this uh, street that comes down from Motorlandia because it's all downhill and I don't gotta burn the clutch. Even though there's traffic, there's traffic everywhere so it doesn't matter, but it's pretty much all downhill till the end. And uh, my wife saw a plastics place that makes the covers for these. And uh, they gave her a price of a, around 2,500, 300 a piece for the seats and uh, a complete cover, you know, cover for me, cover in between here, all the heavy duty uh, clear plastic and sewn around the edges with the grommets. The problem was they want you to measure it. And the street we were on, there was no parking. If you pulled your trike over in front of the building, you'd be sticking halfway out in the lane. And these streets are just horrible. And the people do it. They'll just stop right in the lane, get out, throw their flashes out and get out. And that's what makes the traffic there. Traffic cops don't care. You know, they don't say move along or nothing. They, they don't give a damn. So, you know, I'm not gonna do it though. <laughs> I'm not, so I'll, we'll, we'll find somebody. But 2,500, uh, you know, 3,000 or something like that, 60 bucks to get a really good plastic. And another trick when you're putting your plastic, and I've seen this on so many tricycles, they tie them down with a rope or they let them flap and they go bad quick. The trick on, on putting any kind of tarps on anything, put them on bungees, you know, put them on, put them on bungees like, like even this. Keep it on a bungee and that way you can flex a little bit and they don't tear up so bad. And I will have uh, hooks. I don't want them to make it all the way down. I want to make it up a little bit so that I can put some, put a couple hooks on there and stretch it down. I absolutely 100% have to get a water shield here. Something that'll go in there permanent, whether it's clear plastic or whatever, to keep, keep them guys dry when we're riding. I don't care if my feet get wet. But uh, the sad thing is when it's rainy season, they don't really bug you too much, but you gotta have these on. You put your shoes on, your feet are soaked, guys. You know, so they got a rule. Uh, now it's on motorcycles. I'm not sure if it's on tricycles too, but I've not seen two tricycle drivers without shoes on. 
but Filipinos they cover themselves they put big sleeves even those little pull-up sleeves on their shirts and they they, co they don't want to be in the Sun they don't want to get darker that's the thing here you know if you're dark-skinned you're like second-class citizen which to me is ridiculous I think the, the folks that have the darker skin look better to me <laughs> instead of a sending one of these girls used to see these girls in the taking the glue to tie on and their skins all pasty and white and they're sitting there thinking oh yeah they're so hot and I'm thinking man what kind of drugs is this one taking you know that's just my thought you know but it's not the same it's a different culture so they they want white they want everyone being white but uh, but we are thinking of you know after after we get our place done I want to get like a dirt bike type bike and uh, so that we can cruise down those roads if my wife and I want to travel but this thing right here it's going to keep a lot of miles off the cars guys and uh, plus they don't bother you so much with parking there's my little baby you're gonna drive huh give me the key uh -huh. give me the key oh yeah that's coming guys <laughs> that's coming follow give me the keys you know old Harry Chapin see you later can I have them please <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys go uh, it is kind of it is kind of nice here this this cool weather uh, we we were bundling up pretty good last night didn't need any fans uh, you know that'll definitely cut the electric bill for sure for running the fans all day but uh, I had to PM my fan again uh, it, it, it's locking up it has a solid bearing uh, my other other fans in here they're a little bit more money you can tell by the weight they're they're roller bearings in uh, like on the little thrust bearing in the back and and uh, you don't really need that much of one but they're roller bearings and they you never have problems with them these ones with the solid bearings they're trouble uh, they're, they just keep coming up so I had to take it apart the other day blow it out really good and I found a thing of three three and one oil the WD-40 they'll lock up real quick the three and one a little drop in there let it soak in turn it over do the other one and it seems to be running real smooth but when we fans here you got to clean them once a week guys they get so full of gook every place we've lived we've lived in four different places since we've been here or since I've been here and uh, the fans just get they get covered in gook in a week doesn't matter if you keep your windows closed or not they just make static and catch everything so uh, you gotta clean them and you got you can oil them uh, I actually knew uh, when I was in the States I had box window fans uh, and it was you know just had to run the fans the place didn't have air conditioning and you needed fans I had the upstairs one doing an exhaust and the downstairs in the front on the north side blowing in so we constantly had a draft going through then I was going to work and the, and the girl showed up and I says hey I need you to uh, clean the fans and she says okay I'll get that that'll be my last because she would start at the top and work her way down and just she was a fantastic job she would do a fantastic job for like 25 bucks a day and food and she could make anything she wants had a key and all that stuff she was a pretty good pretty good chick she had a couple kids sometimes she'd bring her kids over a couple times her husband even came and came outside and trimmed the grass and all that stuff but but uh, this girl I come I come home from work early and she had all my fans out in the back and was spraying them out with the garden hose and I'm like oh she goes no no it, it works I do it all the time <laughs> And then she left them sitting dried, you know, something didn't hurt them a bit. And she cleaned them off pretty quick without having to hunt for a tool or anything. Uh, blew them, I mean, sprayed inside the motors and everything. And I'm like, oh man, that's going to suck if it burns them out. And she's, this isn't the first time I've done this. And she did keep the fans real clean. Because that place we had, uh, on the front of the place, it had all kinds of these conifer type trees and those trees you didn't want to go out there uh, we were sitting out front a bunch of uh, co-workers and me were sitting out there and the one dude was just sort of like kicking kicking the tree and I'm like hey stop kicking the tree because all this dust was coming out of it <laughs> doesn't rain in Southern California so I'm gonna let you go guys and uh, you all take care now and uh, this is Rick Shaw out.